Hi, I'm Andrea Beluza, also known as the Light Shaper from the Profoto.com blog. And uh, I'm about to shoot a campaign for Pall Mall Barbers, uh, one of the oldest barbershops in London. And our model is uh, Rockstar Knut. And we're in a very traditional boxing club in central Stockholm. I think my model is ready now. We're just getting some uh, smoke in the background to get some, uh, some more feeling and mood into the picture. So uh, let's shoot. My weapon of choice today is the Magnum Reflector that gives me a very nice hard light, which is exactly what I want in this setting. Now this special coating, a hammered coating of the inside of the Magnum Reflector, acts like um, thousands of small little mirrors that makes the light bounce backwards and forwards and concentrates it and focuses it more onto the subject giving a very, very hard light. In this case, it's very handy because I'm shooting with uh, the new Prophoto B1 uh, lights, off-camera flash as they're known. I'm working with three heads. The main light is actually working on TTL, so it saves me a lot of time on measuring the light. The other two lights that are details on the background, uh, they're actually set on manual, so I'm actually controlling them exactly as I want them. So it's a nice combination of working with TTL and manual settings at the same time. Now, the Magnum Reflector gives you one f-stop more compared to the standard zoom reflector. Okay, good, good, excellent, excellent, excellent. Lovely. Can we get some smoke going as well again, some nice puffy cloud? Yeah, lovely. The zoom function, as you see here, you can play it on uh, the scale of uh, the different pro photo heads. This time on the main light, I was all the way back, which makes the light more focused. And to focus it even more, I actually had a set of grids and um, that is to focus the light more and also to give me that little bit of extra contrast on the main light. The other two lights on the background, uh, on the other hand, were without a grid. The one straight on the background was actually on the forward position to have a little bit of a wider uh, light spread, and uh, whereas the third light was focused that as well, which was focusing more on the smoke and details yeah, of the boxing. Yeah, yeah. That is lovely. Then the other thing that you can apply to the Magnum Reflector, apart from the grids, is barn doors and you can also add a pro tube for even more precise light shaping. I'm now done with the retouching of uh, the picture, so let's go and see exactly what the Magnum did for us. Now the Magnum Reflector was perfect for this picture because it gives me one of the hardest lights you can get with a hard reflector. And that's due to the surface of the Magnum uh, that is a hammered surface. And uh, we see it very clearly on the cheekbones here of the model with very deep shadows and also underneath the chin. So we created this drama in the background with the smoke and the Magnum is giving me the perfect control over the light spread on the smoke and also picking up details on the top part of the pictures right here with the old uh, uh, details of an old boxing club in uh, central Stockholm. I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, film and uh, don't forget to catch me next time and until then take care.